Welcome back to Papyrus Date with Papyrus. We're gonna date Papyrus. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date, yeah, sure. Okay, dating start. What? Is it battle? Dating start? Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this, but this sounds like Phoenix Wright music. It's not just me, right? This sounds exactly like freaking Phoenix Wright music. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged the official dating... <laughs> official dating rule book. What? We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press C on the your keyboard for the dating hood. I hit C. Wowie, I feel so informed. The dating, real, <laughs> and there's the little dog on the radar. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Wait a minute, guys. Hold up. I just noticed something. It's actually Wednesday. I'm not sure if they programmed it to do that, but it is actually today's date is actually Wednesday. Kudos to you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. There's an egg in the uh, left corner, but you know, who cares? Ahem. Human. I have a great papyrus. We'll go on a date with you. Okay. Oh, really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wearing clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> what? Sure, Fabirus. His face. No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think you bested me? Yes! I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you! You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothing underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody asks me on a date! Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine. <laughs> I can't take this game seriously. A genuine cuff. <laughs> Our date power. However, you do not truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore. What you just said is invalid! The date won't escalate any further! Unless you find my secret! But that won't happen! Inspect what- I feel like this is now exactly like Phoenix- Was- was Toby- to Somebody figure this out. Was Toby Fox going for a Phoenix Wright sort of thing over here? Cool did shirt? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it! Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. So it just said dude on it. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a flowing heart. Who doesn't? There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the cells on our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Sand? 
holding my hand? I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. Only place I haven't checked is his head. My hat. My hat. My hat. Yeah. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Wow, uh, he, he, he thought way ahead. A pre Do you know what it is? Of course it's freaking spaghetti. <laughs> Why? I've been tricked. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. What? It's just plain old pasta. The artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged with an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scratches so. up. <laughs> the taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I can do. Ah! Ah! Oh! We beat Papyrus. Human, it is clear now. You are madly in love with me. <laughs> no! I just wanted to be friends. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, uh, it's, it's hot in here. Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on that date, feelings blossomed forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But at last, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like all this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go say how this sands real quick. Let's see if we can actually. The door is locked. Never mind. We can't say hi to the sands. Hey, what's this? I didn't notice this. This rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> Probably tastes delicious. And you know what else tastes delicious? Heading to the place next time because we're going to we're going to be in the caverns, you know, next time. B but I want to end it on a noise here. We'll continue. We're literally exactly where we were like what two episodes ago. We'll continue forward next time.